five grand. <laughs> but, Daddy, what if the bank finds out they made a mistake and they want all their money back? That's why we buy perishables. <laughs> they can get it back, all right. But do they really want it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who'd want Daddy's tuxedo back after it's been on his body? <laughs> And get it. <laughs> but what about our shiny new appliances? Mm. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Not new anymore. <laughs> You pumpkin. Yeah, I wonder why Buck would miss this meal. <laughs> What's going on here? Not as big as mine. Family, I'm moving out. I'm going to Tremaine University and I'm gonna live on campus. I got a $25,000 grant. Uh, <laughs> hey, this run of luck is unbelievable. <laughs> he got $25,000 too. What are the odds? Uh, no, 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 Peg. Oh, my boy just got into a big time college and uh, Time for him and his dad to have a little talk. Personally, though, I never wanted to talk to my dad. <laughs> well, I'm not really like a dad, more like a cool older friend. <laughs> you know, son, I know you're always proud of your old man. You bet, dad. <laughs> nice mashed potato steak. <laughs> 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 Anyhow, son, now I'm proud of you. Well, you were never a great athlete in high school. God, it must have been cold there in my shadow. <laughs> but then I thought I'd give you more time for the chicks. And your personality killed that. <laughs> and you brought home report cards with all A's. I didn't say anything at the time, but then I was truly ashamed. <laughs> A boy getting all A's, you know. <laughs> boy, did I hear about that from the boys down at the barber shop. <laughs> but now, son, you're going to a big time college. And you're gonna get a chance to do something that I've only dreamed of. Make business contacts? Nah, who wants to hang out with a bunch of smart little acne, sexually deprived A students with no breasts from a football because they never touched either. <laughs> You know the type I'm talking about, son? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, the only reason I ever wanted to go to college was to experience one good panty raid. <laughs> and now you're gonna do that for me, son. But son, heed your father's advice. Stay away from the big panties. <laughs> You'll see enough of those in the shower rod after you're married. Go for the little ones, boy. Go for the little ones. Because you don't want a girl who wears big underpants. Because a girl who wears big underpants has big stuff under her pants. 